Magic of Math here, and today we're talking equivalent expressions using like terms while we answer a standardized math test question. Here's our question today. Which of the following is not equivalent to this expression? 2m plus 10m plus 14 plus 3. I'd like you to pause the video now and come back when you think you've done your best work and you have a solution. Welcome back. So first we want to understand that we're looking for which one of our four answer choices is not equivalent. Equivalent meaning the same or equal to. So when I look at this expression, it has four terms. And we're going to look and notice that we have variable terms, which are 2m plus 10m, because there's a constant and a variable. So 2m is 2 times m plus 10 times m, or 10m. Then we also have constant terms in this four-term expression. We have 14 and 3, meaning it means just 14. This means 2 times an unknown number, where this is always going to be 14. It's constantly 14. When we have like terms, like variable terms, or like constant terms, we can combine them. So when we look at 2m and 10m, Think of it as M&Ms. We have 2 M&Ms plus 10 M&Ms. That is 12 M. Then we have 14 plus 3. You can think of it as money. You have $14. Your mom gives you $3. You now have $17. So we have this algebraic expression. When we've combined like terms, this is equivalent to the given four-term expression, now in two terms, 12 M plus 17. There's nothing more we can do because we have the unknown variable m. Now our focus is which one of our four answer choices is not equivalent or the same as 12m plus 17. So let's look at choice A. Choice A has like ter variable terms of m and 12m. This m is an invisible one right here. So that's 1m plus 12m is 13m. And then we have our constants 8 plus 9, which are 17. 13m is not equivalent to 12m. So I think we've already found our answer. Choice A is not equivalent. But let's review B, C, and D just to make me sure. So our like variable terms here are 2m and 10m, which is 12m. Our like constant terms are 10 plus 7, which is 17. So this is equivalent. It checks out. Then in C, we have like variable terms 6m plus 6m, which is 12m. Here we have negative 1 plus 18, which is 17, and it also checks. In D, we have 15m and negative 3m, which is 12m. 15 subtract 3 is 12. Then we have like constant terms 15 and positive 2, which is 17, and that also checks. So now we can be sure that our answer choice here that is not equivalent is choice A. I thank you for joining me today at The Magic of Math while we reviewed equivalent expressions and our like terms. That's The Magic of Math, where we master math one video at a time. I hope you'll come back soon and have a great day.